Mayor Adams is opening up a new front in the war on crime, ordering police to seize cars with illegal paper license plates and, and then to arrest the drivers. He says the drivers are often up to no good using those cars to commit violent acts. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the tales. Marsha. Well, Dana, I'm sure you've heard of ghost guns, but now Mayor Adams says there are thousands of ghost cars on the streets of the city traveling with fake plates. He says the drivers run red lights, break traffic laws, and can be found with illegal guns and drugs. And the NYPD is no longer going to ignore them. A New Jersey always knew something was strange about that place. You know, New Jersey, uh, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas. Mayor Adams with just some of the fake plates confiscated by the NYPD and the city sheriff on cars whose drivers are found to be up to no good. The city is now calling them ghost cars as it mounts a citywide crackdown. Take the driver of this 2014 Maserati with a fake New Jersey plate. Found to be in possession of a 40 caliber gun. Possession of crack suspended license or the driver of this white jeep also with a fake new jersey plate driving on shoulder fled the police in car then on foot apprehended carrying a gun but it's not just guns and drugs the mayor city sheriff anthony miranda and nypd brass say people with fake plates often break traffic laws go through red lights speed through school zones and commit hit and run accidents like the driver who fled the scene after hitting multiple people recently in bedford stuyvesant killing 67 year old grandmother lynn christopher critically injuring her seven year old grandson a video was chilling uh, watching the individual flee the scene with no regard for the pedestrians that he struck. Ghost cars often park illegally, causing the quality of life concerns that hinder the flow of traffic, block driveways, fire hydrants, and even handicap ramps. And certainly, it's not hard to believe that masking the identity of a vehicle in this way is an enticing idea for someone who might want to be planning a terrorist act. Officials say there has been a 300% increase in summonses issued to ghost cars in the past five years, from 893 in 2016 to 3,568 in 2021. This is our warning to all. This ends today. Now, these paper plates are legitimately used by dealers to transport cars or for New York residents to the state. They can also be copied and printed at home. Officials are urging people who see a car with paper plates in their neighborhood to call 311 or 911 to report it. Dana? Marsha, thank you.